My name is Ken Swift. I'm from Terry Recal Services. We are located up in Amesbury, Massachusetts, not too far from here. And we are the Oxford rep for the New England area. The uh, instrumentation you're looking at today is the Oxford 980, which we'll be demoing and showing later on. Oxford Instruments is a global company, and they have a lot of facilities outside of the United States. As you can see, they're from Finland and Germany, Shanghai, and their corporate offices, which are in High Wycombe, in the UK. Inside the United States, their main office is located in Concord, Massachusetts, again, not too far from here. And in Scotts Valley, California, is where they manufacture their x-ray tubes and their, their contact instrumentation for thickness. My company um, is basically sells, services, and calibrates industrial thickness equipment, and in this case, for Oxford Instruments in the New England area. Uh, we were founded in 1955 by Harvey S. Terry Jr., um, who first started testing for thickness with Betascope. At that time, Betascope was the cusp of technology for measuring the thickness uh, in plating. So 58 years later, you have the owner still, Kenneth G. Terry Sr., and his son, Kenneth G. Terry Jr. And again, they are, have brought it from the beta years up into now, which we'll see working with XRF analysis. In 2004, Terry Recal Services started as representation of Oxford Instruments for the New England area for sales and service, but also became an authorized remote depot repair facility. So that's not just for the New England area, but anywhere in the United States that anything has to be sent in for repair, we were authorized to do that for them. So today you're going to be looking at the X Strata 980, which is the latest technology that Oxford has um, out on the market for measuring your coating thickness and for analysis and giving you qualitative and quantitative um, reports. The uh, instrument is um, their latest in development for uh, pin dial detection, which allows us to measure for any kind of Rojas screenings. But today we'll be focusing on jewelry and looking at for the, the coating thickness for gold and also for the qualitative, qualitative analysis for looking for any kind of restrictive materials. Now the application range for the 980 is very, very wide. And today you'll look at, we're going to measure the composition and the thickness of parts and any containing elements with tonic numbers 16 through 92. Today, you'll see that the precious metal area for gold, silver, platinum, and rhodium, palladium, and ruthenium are elements that are very easily seen for this kind of analysis. The instrument allows us to measure five layers. So in the plating industry, you have coatings that can actually add up to five. We can actually see each of those coatings and measure them accordingly. For example, you'll see a gold or palladium or copper um, giving you three elements if it's over brass. It'll also allow you to measure 15 different elements in each of those compositional measurements. If you have a different type of coating that will give you, say if you're plating a 14 karat, 18 karat gold over nickel, over copper, or any kind of various elements that are um, need to be measured that way. The substrate correction is something that the instrument is able to do for instance, if you see that you have gold over palladium of copper or brass, brass containing zinc will also be corrected for us so that you can actually measure it. In some cases, allowing us also to see if there's any kind of lead. The nickel free area that we're going to also be looking at today, it allow us to scan and get within a single reading if there is any nickel inside the plating. If it's something that is required for being nickel free, we'll be able to see it, if it's there or not. Compositional analysis, it'll allow us to do, if you're looking at anything that's gold filled or if you're looking at carrot content, um, a lot of companies have now employed these for a gold assay as part of their regular assay. So they can get a quick turn for getting their answers to the people who are turning in their gold. Or you can measure up 
to 25 elements at once. So when you take a single reading, you'll get an analysis in that one reading. It'll allow you to actually get it in percentage or PPM. So if you're looking for a certain um, low grade or, or low element analysis, we'll be able to actually measure it in low PPM. The instrument is something that we'll be demoing, so if there are any questions, I think we can answer them then, but really that concludes anything that I have for the Oxford and part of the Okay, thank you.